I might have discovered one of the best plugins in DaVinci Resolve ever, introducing the Toco plugin. If you want to have transitions, seamless transitions, lower thirds, big titles, small titles, honestly, this plugin has it covered. In this video, I'm going to be covering some of my favourites that come with this plugin, alongside showing you why this plugin might be the one for you. My name's Dan, and you're watching Dan Vinci. Let's jump into it. Okay then, so first of all, I just want to give a special thanks to Motion Can for sponsoring today's video. This is my first ever fully sponsored video. Really big shout out to them for giving me a chance here to show off a really, really good plugin. More information about the Toco plugin is found in the description, so do take a look if you're interested. All right then, so now with that all out of the way, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take on the mammoth that is the Toco plugin. Now I recommend you turn off anything other than the effects tab because this Toco plugin honestly is so massive and the amount of stuff, as you can see, here. It's just mind-blowing. Just to get an idea of the scale of what you get with this plugin, I'm going to scroll through it. Scrolling, scrolling, still scrolling, more stuff, still, still scrolling, scrolling. What? I feel like I haven't even touched the surface. I feel like I'm going to be constantly discovering things about this for the next couple of months. Like, it's just bonkers. Now, who doesn't like a good seamless transition? I certainly do. I use them all the time in my montages. And it's a trend on the internet that's really blown up recently in the last 10 years. And this plugin certainly has those. In folder number two called Camera Transitions, this is where you find your seamless transitions. So by the looks of things, you get 20 seamless transitions, which all look great. I'm going to put together a little montage and see how they look. Now, I've already made this little montage in about like 45 seconds and it really hasn't taken much effort at all and I'm really impressed with how stable this is and this is running absolutely fine. It's not the most powerful computer in the world but props to the people who have made the plugin because it is quite stable. By the way if you're liking this content feel free to subscribe and like it would mean a great deal to me and also these are from the plugin. Let's jump into the graphics. Now in comparison to the transitions the graphics you get with this are on a whole nother level okay. There are 16 folders alone right and each folder it has so many. This one almost has a hundred. Why is what? <laughs> We've got a little mouse. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Can you animate that? Can you actually animate that? Can you move it around? <gasps> you can! Oh my gosh, you can actually move that to where you want it to be and then you can change... Oh, I imagine you can do this with all of them. There's the good old subscribe graphic. I'm sorry, but like, what's not to love about this plugin? I'll, I'll stop. I'm going, I'm going. I've cancelled myself. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid watching the OG YouTubers back in the day, a lot of the tech YouTubers used these callouts. And to me, I used to think, wow, how on earth did they do that? Wow! Well, in this plugin, it does it for you. As you can see, I've already got a callout made, the Audi S1 S line, ultimate review. Now, this is a hypothetical situation, but I just want to demonstrate how cool this is. It's just so cool! So at the minute, if we play this, the callout just shows up in the middle of the screen. But obviously, this is not what they do. They're almost like a label for the specific thing that they're trying to, well, call out. How do we change this? If you go up to the top right corner in your inspector tab while selecting the callout, you'll see a lot of controls. And I mean a lot. Honestly, my eyes are just sort of widening at how incredible this is. It's so cool. You can honestly can change everything from the font to the text size to the spacing. This is insane. In fact, let's move the whole thing. In fact, it might be easier to go into the settings here. Yes, look at that. Oh yes, yes. All right then, so with a quick render in place to the graphic, let's see what we've got. That's really clean. Now I did add an additional transition on top of the render in place. This just gives you an idea of what this is capable of already. Obviously I can't touch upon all of the graphics in this video that are included, but I'm just gonna list a few that I like. There's these really, really cool text icons, which are brilliant, which resemble various like text messages that you would get from friends. And of course they are fully how do you spell customizable? And of course they're fully customizable. There's these really cool shape elements that can really add a little bit of a flair to your logo animation, your logo intro. A really cool and insane one are these phone graphics. All right, so the final thing that I really want to touch upon and show you guys are the flat transitions. Now this plugin has quite a few of these flat transitions. So I've dragged one down. This already looks really, really cool, but obviously we can customize everything about this transition from the inspector tab in the top right corner. So we can go from, let's make this green heavy. So let's, let's do some, let's keep that one white. 
white. Let's add in some dark greens. And there you go. We completely changed the transition already. There's so many of them and you can customize so much about them. Your video is always going to look unique with this plugin. If you are interested in this plugin and want to install it, it's really, really easy. All you need to do is double click on the project folder and basically install the software by double clicking it and clicking install. It was that quick. The only faff that I had was literally just installing some of the fonts that made some of the text work. But other than that, it was a really, really quick and easy to install process. If you want a more in-depth, thorough installation guide, feel free to follow the links in the description that will take you to a in-depth tutorial on how to install this plugin. But do feel free to let me know in the comments what plugins you use and whether you have this plugin already. What do you guys think? I'm always around to chat in the comments, so do let me know. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name's Dan and you've watched Dan Vinci. See you later. Bye.